All right guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing my sinking funds closeout update. We're gonna go through my envelopes and make sure that what I have in my planner is correct so I can move whoops, my money over to, um, move my money over to June or my, 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 my numbers over to June, excuse me. I'm probably gonna have a hard time talking. I bit my lip the other day eating and now I have like a little canker sore like right where my gum is, like my teeth hit my gums and I'm a little uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, so I will also be going back in and closing out my budget as well. I didn't even fill that in. How am I just realizing that I didn't even fill in my fixed expenses? It's fine, these numbers don't change. <laughs> I've done like all my weekly check-ins and just now realize I did not do my fixed expenses. Wow, that's just to go, just goes to show you like how my month has been. Um, but we're gonna go over to my sinking funds. We're gonna go through my transactions and then we're gonna come into the envelopes and make sure that the numbers that we have are correct. So let me grab my calculator. We're gonna need that. Where did I put it? Um, I'm not really prepared today. I thought I was, but I guess I'm not. Okay, so first off, we're gonna do beauty. I'm gonna grab a highlighter. So we can just come through and highlight. First off, we have beauty. I spent $18 on a brow pencil um, towards the beginning of the month. I do use Benefit Brow but I had some points and so I think I got like $10 off. So it was only $18. And then that is it for beauty. So we're gonna come over here, put down 18. Um, I think I'm just gonna go through and put what I have and then like what I've spent and then do the ending balance. So let's do this first. That way I can just fold my planner over. Also, if you're new, the planner is Sarah Marie's Humble Beginnings Budget Planner. Um, this year is for 2024. It is sold out. She is um, in the works of making the 2025 planner. So definitely give her a follow. Um, she does have a YouTube channel, Sarah Marie Stickers, or I think it's just Sarah Marie. Um, but yeah. Groomers uh, spent $88 and that was my portion. So we're gonna put 88 over here. I'm just gonna leave that on capped. Bentley, so we have 19, only spent $19 this month. That's great. I totally did not, like I did my weekly check-ins but I wasn't pulling money out of my envelopes. I think I've talked about this in a couple of my cash stuffings um, from May, but I just have been using my, either my, my, my buffer account or my, like I've been using two credit cards for the month of May. Um, and then I just pay it off. So at the end of the month, I just pulled all of this money. That's why you see the check marks. So if it's a check mark, that means I pulled the money. So I've pulled the money already prior to this. Um, but yes, I didn't do it week to week, which I'm going to be trying to do that and stay on top of it in the month of June. Household, it looks like I only spent $12. Whoa, how are you guys doing? You guys will have to let me know. Do you guys do weekly check-ins? I really, like I do, but I'm not doing it how I used to and like pulling my cash. I am like going through and seeing my spending and making sure I'm staying on track, which is my main goal for my weekly check-ins, especially for these categories. Um, like I said, I do have money in my buffer to cover a lot of these expenses. I do use a card for like gas. There's certain things that I use my credit card for to get points, um, definitely groceries. And then at the end of the month, I just pay it off. But yeah, so let me know if you guys do weekly check-ins. Okay, next up is date night. I do see two. 
So this day, I don't remember what we did, but we went and ate and I bought us lunch. I think lunch, cause we usually get lunch here. Um, they do a vegan Philly like cheese steak. It's so good. Um, and then movies down here. We went to the movies and I got us some like popcorn and probably water. So that's a total of 62 from date night. Okay, holidays and gifts. So um, a couple of my nieces' birthdays is are in May. So I did have some spending for that. Um, and then I think I had gotten something else. Oh, one of my girlfriends, her daughter is in May too, at the beginning of the month. So there's something for that too. So I spent a total of 212 in holidays and gifts. Is that the only one? Okay. Next is clothes. So I spent 25 at Target. I found um, some really cute like linen shorts and then a cute like, it's like a fitted shirt. It's kind of like a crop shirt. Um, so I got those and they were on sale. And then um, when I was shopping for gifts, I found these cute like trouser pants at TJ Maxx. And they're like trouser like material but they are like jean colored. So they're not like jean material, but they're super cute. So 45 from clothes. Um, so yeah, I picked those up. They're super cute. Um, and then self care, I pulled 20 for a tip. I went and got a massage the day before my birthday. Um, my mother-in-law, gave me um a hundred bucks and so I went and got a massage with it um and then I pulled twenty dollars from this envelope for the tip uh they do have a cash like deal for a hundred bucks so that's what usually what I do um and then I actually tried to go get a pedicure the next day on my actual birthday as like my own personal treat and I took my self-care envelope and my boyfriend ended up calling and paying for that like tip and everything. So that was really sweet of him. And then fun, I spent $5. I did go to a concert, to Luke Combs concert, and I bought a water. So that is that. So not too crazy, not a lot. Again, a lot of birthdays this month. Um, I guess I should add, I'm like, I have been just doing not, a great job with my numbers. <laughs> I don't even know how much is in here and how much I added. Let's do that really quick. And then we'll do this one. So, sorry guys, this will probably be a little bit longer video because we haven't even gotten into my envelopes. Usually I'm a little bit more prepared, but this is real life. to do my nails I just have not had any time work's been crazy which has been a blessing but I'm exhausted 41.59 oh that's right I guess we could go back to April and see 41.59 okay cool um okay now for how much we added because I do need to carry this over to my budget thousand one hundred and sixty one okay well, I'm gonna add that to here real quick okay I didn't have any unbudgeted so I'll put that there so what did I spend 18 19 45 62 5 88 
481. So if I add 1161 and then I subtract 481, my total should be 4839 once I've gone through my envelopes. So we're gonna do that now. I'm going to fold this over and we're gonna get into my envelopes. I think this is my short-term sinking funds. So first envelope is beauty. I should have 45 plus 40 minus 18, whoops, so 67. 20, 40, 65, 6, 67. And that is correct. And this is what I do every month. I have been trying to film these the last couple of months, which I think you guys do enjoy. 120 plus 50 minus 19. So I should have 151. So we have 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 151. I counted that so weird, but yeah, 151. That's what we got. So that's correct. Car maintenance, um, math, 46, 3, 06, 306, 360, 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 16. Okay, 316. Um, let's see. 115 plus 55 is 170 minus 45 is... I'm not going to try this. So we'll just take the even longer. 125. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125. I should, like, work my brain. But listen, we're trying to film and be, effect like, efficient with filming and not being so such a long video, okay? That will be, that will be my excuse. So 45, 20, 45. And yes, I do this every month. I've done this since I started cash stuffing, um, my especially sinking funds. I also did not start out with this many sinking funds, you guys. I started out with like four or five when I first started budgeting. So if you're new to this, don't overwhelm yourself and just take it one day at a time. So we should have 120, so 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. Perfect. Okay, 115 plus 55 minus 88, so 82. 20, 40, 60, 70, 81, 82. Perfect. And I just got an email the other day, speaking of groomers, that Bentley's groom groomers are closing down in like a month. And it's so sad because we finally found a good groomer here in the Bay Area that's not a flipping arm and a leg because they're so expensive and they're closing it's so sad um minus 12 which i i don't know 20 40 65 66 i know our economy is not great right now um and it's just so sad to see like even like a bunch of restaurants closing and it's it's heartbreaking. Like I follow a, I am vegan. So I follow a bunch of like, you know, vegan content creators, restaurant bloggers, all those types of things. And there's a chick in the Bay area who shares like different restaurants. And like, while she travels, she'll post like the different restaurants to, that you can go to while I was a vegan. Um, and she's been doing a series of like restaurants closing and there's just so many it's really sad and it's not just like in the Bay Area. it's like throughout like i think she posted one of new york and so it's just unfortunate so we have 20 40 60 81 10 15 20 25 26 27 28 29 30 130 um, I am gonna go get my toes done again right before Hawaii. I was thinking about getting my nails done too, but I think I'm just gonna do them myself. Like put some extensions on and paint them like a milky white.
maybe even like a like a nudie pink like something super subtle and like neutral and natural um 20 40 60 75 is correct but i was also thinking like maybe i'll do like cute flowers which i've tried once before to do um my own design and they don't they weren't bad but they were like the super basic flower that you could do <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta figure it out. Okay. Um, one this should be 57 for body. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 5, 6, 7. And that's correct. Car insurance should be two two. 230, 2, 1, 50, 70, 90, 1, 10, 130. There we go. Or 230. My bad. 230. 230. Um, car tag should have 19. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect. I'm glad this isn't going as slow as I thought it would. Christmas. Um, we're looking at 460. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60. Perfect. Uh, David should have 320. 1, 2, 3, 20. Cool. Disney should have 35. 20, 35. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, which, okay, 520, and that's correct. 500 is in my ally for future baby. Hair should be oh, two, three, three, I don't know, 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 310, 3, 10, 330, 340, 350, 350, yes, 350, 30, and then 50 left over, 350. All right, holidays and gifts, so we had 228. I added 105 and then I spent 212 and so I should have 121. Um, 121, perfect. That was easy to count. Um, I did talk about my birthday, how I was doing a like family barbecue get together and renting like our club room at our apartment. And I did that and I was talking about how I was gonna pull the money out of here, but I didn't. I decided to do like I had the last week of May I worked like three days and whatever I made that week I instead of just like cash stuffing a smaller amount I just pulled that money aside paid the room rental which was 125 for my half David and I split it and then we bought a bunch of food and drinks and all that stuff and so I just used that money to go towards that which is not a big deal. It wasn't a huge loss for me since it was kind of like a last minute thing I decided I wanted to do because I wasn't even going to like pay to rent the room. I was just going to like hang out by like one of the barbecue areas that we have. But then I started talking to more and more people and they were like, oh, I would come. And so I'm like, well, I we kind of want to have like a designated space. And so that's what we ended up doing. So instead of 70 for your planners is correct. So instead of like stressing I was just like, I'm just gonna pull this money. Um, and like one day I made like barely anything. I think I made like 60 bucks one shift, maybe 75. And then one shift I did like a couple hundred and then the other shift was like basically the same thing. So it was like, I had enough money to cover everything plus a little extra and I just put that into my bank account. Um, six and I didn't even track anything. I just spent it and then put <laughs> the remaining. Sometimes things be like that. Um, six twenty. So five six. Wait, six sixty. Twenty forty fifty sixty. There we go. Six sixty. Okay, travel should have seven twenty. 
We have 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 80, 7. Oh, I'm so dingling. 7, 20, 8, 20, 190 plus 6, 30. 820. <laughs> 6, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 8, 10, 15, 20. Perfect. And this is for my Hawaii trip at the end of the month. Since we're now in June, I gotta set up my what did we say the number was? I gotta set up my um my June budget next. Okay. Let's see. Let's do these numbers real quick. I'm going to do this again just to make sure we have it correct. So 4839. 4839. Oh, I was trying to get this video done before David got here. feel so awkward 4839 perfect um that's lovely that's so cute okay that's exciting so that's what we have in our sinking funds a lot of it is obviously travel we have a good amount saved for christmas which is awesome same with tattoo future baby you know some of these like longer term sinking funds are a lot heavier which is awesome that's what we want um but now i'm going to go over and close out my um, budget and then we'll be done. I will finish doing this, which it doesn't really matter. I just like to make sure that I set these variable expenses up and then do my weekly check-in and make sure I'm staying within this number. I don't share my income. It's a private personal thing for me. You guys do see a lot of it, um, but I do get paid a few other times throughout the month that you guys don't see. Um, but yeah, that's just a personal preference. So we're going to add everything up. And we'll close out this budget and we'll close out this video. So first week I spent $35.26 on groceries. Second week I spent $96.46. Probably went to um, Costco this week. Yeah. Um, and then $48.23. And then $58.67. So a total of $238.62. So that's super under budget, which we love. Um, I, like I've said, I am plant-based, so I don't spend a lot of money on groceries, um, which is really nice. I cook a lot of my meals. If you notice, like my eating out is a hundred. I try, try to stay underneath that. Obviously some months it gets close or I don't stay underneath it, but I do cook a lot of my meals. It's just easier that way. So 54 is 52 for eating out. And it's usually because I have some type of like event or like a fam, or like a friend's hangout or something like that when I'm eating out. Okay, gas, 54, 83, 63, 60. I think this was the week I went to Sacramento. My sister wanted me to go to the, a concert with her and her girls, and so I drove to Sacramento this week, and so spent a couple times on gas, wherever those transactions are, right here and there. Yeah, so I had to come back and then fill up, and then this one was a Costco run too. So one seventy nine. And that is definitely on the higher side. I usually spend about 50, 60 every other week. But with that trip of going to Sacramento. Um, and then this month in June, it'll probably be close to that as well. Because I... Um, because I... Um, I need to take Bentley to my mom's before we go to Hawaii and then I also am trying to get my hair done so I'm hoping I can get it 
close to when I'm gonna drop him off and just leave him there. So personal, I spent 102.42, went over on that. Um, I knew I was gonna probably be close to this as my birthday month, I was like, I'm just gonna buy whatever I want. Let me see, I don't even remember what I bought. Oh, so I bought merch at the concert that we went to, and then I bought a couple things at Daiso for, to make matchas. And then I didn't track it in here because I can't find my stickers, but I spent 44 at Supergoop online. Um, if you know Supergoop, it's like sunscreen lotions and things like that. So I needed to re-up on my vitamin C face serum sunscreen protection, as well as I bought some hand cream. So I just put that in personal. I probably could have put it in beauty, but I'm trying to hopefully maybe get a reimbursement from my healthcare um, program that I have through work because they do reimburse you for like sunscreen and that type of okay last one is parking this month I feel like I did pretty good because I did have let's go look because I did have some really low days so I only spent 86 37 which is way under budget which is awesome 8637. Come on, Kristen. Let's write proper. Um, I did I have been like going really early and either getting really lucky and finding parking that's free, which Saturdays is super cheap. So I've been finding parking that's super cheap. Sundays are free if I park further enough away from the baseball stadium. And then there are some shifts where I have found free parking. Um, there's a few alleys uh, are kind of nearby that we know of that have free parking. So if you get lucky, it's awesome. Um, and then there was this day I spent $45 in just one day. So I'm glad I have some of these smaller amount days to balance it out. And I'm not having a bunch of these because I have been taking more time to come early and find parking. So I'm not spending my money on parking because last year I was just super lazy and would like go late last minute and then have to spend so, so much money on parking. So I'm trying to not spend all my money on parking this year. All right, let's add this up. My rent ended up being 1080. Again, I spent 238.62 on groceries, 54.52 eating out. Um, I didn't spend any money on Clipper, and then I did spend 110 on my toll, so that automatically came out once it reaches a certain threshold. They replenish. My electricity bill was 7037, and then I ended up spending or putting in 1161 into my sinking funds, which is awesome. Um, so that is a total of 2900 and 42 I can't see this calculator and 34 cents so so 14 17 14 18 is the difference of what I thought I was gonna spend maybe um, which is great <laughs> so yeah that is my May budget closeout I will put these numbers in they're the same amount every month it's about a thousand a thousand twenty I want to say so with all of these other expenses that are the same amount every single month um and then now that i have my sinking funds numbers ready to go i can plug those into my june um but that that is it you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me during this video kind of all over the place but i appreciate you guys watching and sticking around if you've made it this far appreciate the support and i hope that you guys give the video a like if you did enjoy it i do post all budget related content weekly cash stuffing so if you like that type of content please stick around hit that subscribe button but i will see you guys in a video real soon